Hello Steelers and welcome to this review in which me and my black cat are going to be looking at the new Black Sheep Miniatures Cowboys range. Uh, these are being produced by Glenn over at Warbases. It's a separate entity to Warbases but Glenn very very kindly supplied me with three packs of figures here uh, and I said I'd do a review on them. So these are the figures. Uh, what have we got? These are 28mm. Uh, they're all metal as you can tell, probably tell from here. These. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of a, a breakdown, then I'll probably look. I'll look at them in a little bit more detail properly. Uh, the proof figures are actually priced at two pound fifty each individual, or ten pounds for a pack of five. So obviously a little bit cheaper if you buy them in bulk. Uh, the release date is to be confirmed. However, he says it is absolutely imminent, uh, and it could well be by the end of this weekend, uh, as I record this, at least the first weekend of December. Uh, so I would have thought that by next week that the uh, the website and everything will be live. There is a website as well, uh, and they're also uh, uh, over on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, the website I'll put in the description below, but it is blacksheepminiatures.co.uk, and obviously you can follow them at Black Sheep Minis over on Facebook and Twitter as well, so I suggest you do that. The website already has some painted uh, images of some of the figures, uh, so go and check those out as well, even though... They are currently, as I speak, uh, currently saying they're out of stock. They won't be as soon as the website is live, so you can get, get in. Another good thing as well is uh, Glenn has also provided you, as a Storm of Steel viewer, a 10% off by using the code SOS10. Now he says this is going to last till the end of the year. Uh, so that's uh, obviously December the 31st, so you've got a couple of weeks to get in and get some stuff pretty quick uh, and I would very much suggest you do looking at some of these figures, they're absolutely lovely. As I say, I'll show you these close up in a second anyway. So again, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the, link, uh, the, the, the links and everything down below in the description and I'll also put that discount code in as well so you can use it straight up. Um, uh, is there anything else that he'd said? Uh, I think that's pretty much the basis of the uh, uh, of the, 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 the information you need at the moment. Uh, I had been actively ignoring uh, What a Cowboy by the Two Fat Lardies at this point, but now having had been sent these, I'm starting to look a little bit askance at it and just thinking, oh, maybe I could pick up a few more. You don't need that many figures and buildings to, to do a little cowboy game, do you really? So, thanks to Glenn for pushing me into yet another project and another period. <laughs> uh, I very much appreciate it. But what I'll do is, uh, I'll, I'll get these out, I'll show you the individual figures that I've got here. Uh, and we can have a look at them, you can see how lovely they are. And they are absolutely fantastic. And as I say, you know, Cowboys is probably not a, a period I... I when, I when I was a kid I was very interested in Cowboys. I do like the occasional cowboy film, who doesn't? But uh, these have really turned my head. Uh, they are absolutely lovely and they will make really nice little character figures. But you'll see that in a second when I get the camera set up and we can have a look at them uh, close up now. Okay, so these are the three packs that Glenn sent through. Uh, we have a pack of banditos, obviously Mexican bandits there. You can see they're wearing sombreros uh, and they've got double bullet belts. I'll get them out in a second so we can have a look. We've got the Vaqueros, which I believe are Mexican uh, cowboys, or the name for Mexican cowboys. And then also we have some bank robbers as well, so again, so a mix of mix of characters. Let's have a look first of all at these bank robbers. Let's just get these out and you can see them then in a bit more detail uh, and how they look. Obviously, I haven't had a chance at all to paint these because these only arrived yesterday and I just wanted to make this video uh, prior to the release of uh, uh, the opening up of the, the websites and everything. So these are our figures here, uh, quite a few carrying shotguns as you can see or uh, I don't know, repeating bla uh, not repeating blasters, repeating rifles and, and what have you. Uh, I'm not too sure about cowboy weapons. Uh, it looks like rifles and things like that and repeaters. Uh, and then this chap here in a uh, he's got a, a face mask on with a pistol I quite like that and he's also he's got a bag of loot as well in his hand there you can see uh, what else have we got so a couple others and they are it looks like most of them are actually got their faces covered I think this guy's got a balaclava on this one has another another one with a, a, a kerchief around his face uh, this guy doesn't care, uh, the one with the bowler hat, I like him with a bowler hat. And then we have this chap here as well, an older looking fella. 
uh, carrying two uh, swag bags. I've played a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 and I really like it. So uh, this is, as I say, really starting to appeal to me now to think about uh, maybe even playing um, some uh, What a Cowboy when that re when that releases. Uh, I've kind of got the starts of a, uh, of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a of a force here uh, and I'll probably get some more of the war base ones as well. When, well, sorry, Black Sheep mini ones when they are uh, fully released. So that's the Mank Robbers. Then here we have, uh, these are the uh, Vaqueros. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Probably Vaquero. I do apologise if my pronunciation is incorrect. But again, we have some lovely sculpts here, full of life. I'm not sure who the sculptor is. There's a little bit of flash on some of these figures, but nothing that you wouldn't be able to clear up pretty quickly and easily. And again, looking at these ones across here, some lovely poses again. Uh, so we've got a couple here with rifles, uh, repeating rifles, I guess. And then three here with pistols as well. Uh, various uh, beards and what have moustaches and things on them as well. So this guy I particularly like, the one with the uh, double-handed uh, pistol. You know, that's a really nice pose, that, isn't it? It's um, very, uh, very cowboyish, very reminiscent of uh, of the old, the great old films, I guess. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and that kind of thing. So they will paint up really nice, I think. And they're just, again, what I say, lovely figures. I also like this chap as well, who's advancing forward with the pistol uh, drawn. So that is the Vaqueros. And then we have these guys. These are the Banditos. So let's have a take a look at these ones as well. And I don't know if these have been um, 3D rendered before, uh, before actually uh, making them into into these sculpts and then uh, then moulding them and uh, turning them into into metal figures. But uh, there's a hell of a lot of detail on all of them, uh, and these ones are no less. So we've got again quite a few uh, rifle chaps, and most of these have got rifles. I think yeah, they've all got rifles here. But again, your typical. Uh, Mexican banditos from uh, from many of the, the the Western films. So again, these are going to make a really nice addition. And I know there's a lot of plastic cowboys out there. For, so uh, Great Escape Games do theirs for Dead Man's Hand. I mean, you know, I spoke about uh, what a cowboy, but obviously these would work very well for uh, for any cowboy game in 28 mil. And they're just nice character figures. Uh, so these guys have all got double ammunition belts on them which is again the classic uh, Mexican bandit style isn't it I suppose uh, and these again will work really well with whatever cowboy uh, cowboy uh, game you've got you know not just Dead Man's Hand I think the um, the guys over at Little Wars TV did one as well didn't they a, a two page one I think uh, I can't remember the name of it it'll come to me but uh, but yeah these would all of these will fit in really nicely with those so let's just I'll show you all of these figures together so uh, so we've got the banditos at the bottom of the vaquero uh, vaqueros vaqueros again if i'm pronouncing these things incorrectly i do apologize uh, my spanish is not uh, not as good as my english and my english isn't great so here are the bank robbers i think of the three packs uh the ones that speak most to me are the bank robbers just because they have uh a little bit to me, anyway, a little bit more character. They're they're all characterful. They're all really lovely. Uh, but I just like the uh, I like this guy in particular carrying the two swag bags and the other fella here with the two swag bags. But then, having said that, I also like this fellow here as well with the two pistols. Uh, I've actually I've bought some bases from eBay when these arrived, and I'm going to base these up and I'm going to paint them. And as I say, these will probably form the the beginnings of a what a cowboy uh, game so that will give me an excuse to buy what a cowboy when it is finally released uh, probably Easter I would have thought uh, and uh, I think these are just fantastic this is obviously not the full range there's quite a few more packs and also Glenn tells me as well that they are planning on uh, releasing more packs as well uh, so looking forward to seeing what they come up with and if this is their start then I can only imagine it's going to get better from here, to be perfectly honest. So thanks once again to, to, to Glenn for sending these through. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Tell me what you think of the figures. Uh, I think uh, these are going to be a great addition to anybody's cowboy sets already. If you haven't subscribed to the video, please, uh, to the channel, should I say, please do. You can also help out as well by checking out the Patreon and the channel memberships, where you will get... Uh, 
ad-free early access to most of my big Friday videos. So, thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next Storm of Steel video.